Good morning guys, it's currently the morning after the last upload. We uploaded the video at 3am last night and um, showing Typhoon Alyssus here in Tagig City in Metro Manila. If you're new around here, that's where we're based. And I just wanted to pick the camera up today with a few more updates. You know there's been some devastation, uh, some horrible devastation to people's homes, to been flooding. There's been some really, really horrible things happening overnight. It's still raining now, but I believe the actual eye of the storm I'm just going to go on windy.com, which is the site I use to track it. You can see here, it's actually already passed through. It's now actually off the coast of kind of the Zambales area. It's been through the kind of Alaminos area. We've got some friends that live by Alaminos and on their Instagram stories, I've seen trees and things falling outside there uh, where they live. We really, really do hope anyone watching this video is okay. Please do use the comments below to share any information you have that might help somebody. Um, but again, I'll, I'll say it again, we're not a news channel. Please take everything we say with caution as it might not be 100% truthful, but we just read some sources that we find on the internet, on Twitter and things like that. So something that I have just read, I'm going to go on the balcony in a second and show you guys um, how it's looking out there. But something I have just read is in Pasai City, there's a cargo ship that hit a seawall uh, of Mall of Asia by Manila Bay. So there was, I'll just read it here, a cargo vessel struck the seawall of a mall in Pasai on Thursday morning after the waters of Manila Bay swelled due to heavy rains and violent winds brought about by Typhoon Ulysses. So I'm going to show a picture now. I honestly can't believe this. This is like huge, like crazy really. Um, so you can really see it here in these photos. It's this huge cargo ship. There's a ton of people around it uh, now. This was uh, less than an hour ago that I'm getting this. How do you, how do you fix that? I really don't know. I've also seen on the news that the Manila, Manila Dam is on red alert and it's very close to flooding. Cabantuan, at around 6 a.m. today, completely destroyed. Look here. And Barranca in, in Marikina City. A video. It's properly flooded. People are literally swimming in some areas in Rizal as well. This is San Mateo in Rizal. There's a little dog stuck on this roof. I believe I saw on Twitter that the dog was rescued um, already. Marikina City seems to be one of the worst hit areas. There's really bad flooding there. Lots of people needing rescue, elderly people, minors. More than 15 families, including 10 kids, are jumping off a roof due to heavy flooding in Marikina City. And then in Isabella here we've got loads of flooding as well, someone's house, trees down, awful. So this is also saying that 3.8 million Manila Electric Company customers will have no electricity for an undetermined number of days after strong winds and rains from the typhoon knocked down power lines and toppled electricity posts in the company's service areas. So I know a lot of people now have no electricity and it seems this might be going on for longer than expected uh, because of the power lines. Wow. Where's that? This is southbound lane on EDSA, 7am this morning. Huge flooding. I also put this on my story on Instagram already. And these are the routes in Metro Manila that are flooded. So there's 10 different areas. There's some cities that are inaccessible via regular routes. So Marikina and Valenzuela. And then these here are the routes flooded or impassable. So C5, Alabang, Sukat. Wow, Rojas Boulevard, that's Manila Bay, right? It's a, it's a, it's a. And I've also noticed a lot of restaurants and things are not opening today. A lot of companies have said don't come in. A lot of um, I think the Manila mayor has declared um, that he's closed all offices today so that people don't have to travel to get to work because if people try to travel through these flooded roads, it's just going to get even worse. So I think now, like we saw last night where the guy was, um, the, the men outside were using a chainsaw to chop the trees, to unblock the roads, put them in a truck and take them away. I think the people the people doing that are gonna be working hard again today to slowly bring things back to normal, to clear roads and to help people that are stranded and 
I'm sure people will need rescuing from some of these flooded roads, just from seeing things on the internet now, cars getting stuck in the roads from the floods and stuff. But let's take a little look outside now. Obviously we didn't want to go out outside last night on the balcony, it was dark anyway, we were just trying to film from our window, um, but it was super windy. I've got a plant just here, and that's like my guide at how windy it is, and it was going absolutely crazy. So I didn't really want to go outside last night. It is not advised to, but we're gonna head out now. Oh, it's very bright out. Oh my God. This is way worse than I thought. There's 13 trees down that I can see. And these are big trees, they aren't little shrubs. So we have some down along here, some here. This was the one that we were filming last night and, God, look how big that trunk is. That would have taken some wind to pull that over, that is crazy. There's a lot of debris and leaves and things in the road. This tree is kind of knocked over slightly, it's not quite down. This was the one we really heard last night. It snapped so loudly. Even though we were inside, we weren't outdoors, we didn't have any windows open, we heard this really crunch as it fell over and then it also nearly knocked over the one next to it. Then this one here has half been knocked over. This here has had most of its leaves taken off of the tree. And I think over here we also have a lot of uh, fallen trees, you can see. I think, but I'm not, I'm not going to go out and look, I, I think we'll stay indoors today. There are surprisingly a few cars on the road, but I guess this area isn't flooded, so uh, it's okay. And just generally the weather, it's got these strange uh, darker clouds again, which we always seem to get when the typhoon's here, it's like a white sky with darker clouds in front. I think that's pretty much all the updates we have um, that we found this morning. So we are gonna again end this video and edit it up now, publish it as soon as we can. A little time check, it's now midday on Thursday the 12th of November. We really hope you're staying safe wherever you are. Try to stay indoors if you can and let us know where you're watching from in the comments below and what the situation is like there. Stay safe everyone and we'll see you again very soon. Goodbye.